Hello DCSD and welcome to the latest edition of Super's Vision. I'm here today with Principal Rob Segley at Mountain Vista High School looking at our beautiful view even in the rain. And today we're going to talk about the importance of teachers in our kids' lives. I know that all of us, myself included, have a story about how a teacher inspired us to become, you know, what we are today. And, and uh, I know Mountain Vista is packed with teachers that are inspiring kids every day. Tell us a little bit about the impact of your teachers on your kids. Yeah, well, first of all, thanks for having me. We appreciate you coming out to Mountain Vista and chatting for a little bit. Uh, our teachers do amazing things every day. There's probably thousands of stories we could tell of how uh, kids' future has been impacted by our staff here uh, at Mount Vista, whether it's uh, students heading off to pursue content that they were inspired and uh, were instilled a passion to pursue beyond high school, um, or probably more importantly and more, uh, more often, the inspiration to connect, build relationships, and just be better people. Uh, whether it's a shoulder to lean on or whether it's uh, someone to confide in or just someone to work towards any goal, whether it's in the classroom or on the field or whatever it might be, we're uh, so proud of our staff and, and the relationships they build to, to make kids uh, better people and more prepared for their future, what, whatever it's going to be. It's an ACC class, so U.S. History, and we're just kind of looking at primary source documents, hopefully having them come to some sort of a historical opinion, which yeah, is so what they, we want them to do, think about it. They studied the Declaration of Independence. Yes, they've already read and that. And now you're looking at the Articles of Confederation. Yes. And like, in some capacity, it's like, how well did we satisfy the needs and wants of the nation which were stated in the Declaration of Independence? And showing them the path that ultimately led to the Constitution. Yes, because it doesn't last. So. Right, yeah. right. And I think it just encourages them to think, and then we also get to practice a lot of the writing skills. So I think that's important. It's not only looking at the history, but it's also like, okay, how do we become better writers? Because like I said, it's a college level course. It's one of the big things that ACC asks is some writing and college level essays, and how do we do that? So it gets us the And the kids the get an actual transcript yeah. of this course yeah. with the college yeah. level credit on Absolutely. it, which is amazing. It is them. amazing. It's As awesome. part of their free K-12 education, yes. what an amazing thing. It is awesome. it's an amazing them. program. Yeah. So glad that we brought it here. Talk to me about the importance of retaining our amazing teachers here at Mountain Vista and truly across our school district. Yeah, it's, it's um, we've been the benefit of having a, a fantastic group of core teachers that have been with us for 10, 20, uh, 22 years, as old as, as the school. Uh, and, and we're very top heavy in our veteran group. And as that group moves through, we need more new and younger teachers to come join us if we're gonna continue to what we we'll do what we do and uh, create this great environment for kids. Uh, last year was the first year that uh, we had difficulties in our pools. Uh, we had situations where we were posting jobs and our pools were very, very low uh, in certain content areas, and that's not where we want to be. Uh, I've been hiring for 13 years now in Douglas County, and this is by far the lowest uh, some of our pools have been. And, and why do you think that is, Rob? What do you think the number one reason for that is? Uh, teacher pay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here in Douglas County, our starting teacher pay is 45209 which is very low compared to our neighbors right on the other side of County Line Road, which makes it extremely challenging for us to attract incredible talent to replace the talent that we're, leaving, that we're losing as they retire. Mm -hmm. Are you having any struggles with teacher retention? Yeah. Uh, in particular, we lost three teachers last year for the first time to Cherry Creek. And uh, young teachers, three of our best teachers, really, uh, promising, young, talented professionals. And when it came down to it, it was all about pay. Yeah. They, they had to choose between their livelihoods and, and uh, their professional work environment. And it was a tough choice. There were tears in my office. Uh, they didn't want to go. Uh, but they felt this pull and they had to make this choice for, for themselves and their families. And the truth is teachers are just like all of us, right? They're, they want what's best for their own family. They're raising children. They're putting their kids through college. When our neighbors right across County Line Road are, are offering on average $20,000 more, how do our teachers say no to that? It's a very significant struggle for us. It's hard to compete. Do you have future chemical engineers in here, do you think? 
Probably. Because I, I do have some kids that are doubling up right now in, this is Honors Bio, and they're also doing Honors Chem right now. Okay. So okay. the sophomores, so I have a mix of freshmen and sophomore, and the freshmen, some of them took AP Physics last year. So now they're doing Bio and Chem. Oh, excellent. Definitely some science minds in here. Oh, I sure. love that. I love that. What are yeah. some of the coolest experiments you do during the year? Oh my gosh. Um, I think one we do coming up in this unit is about enzymes and we look actually at liver and we test different um, conditions that the enzymes will work in and measure carbon dioxide that's coming off to see how, what is, what we're changing about the enzymes, the, their environment that they can work in, yeah. whether they're actually effective or not, if it actually, if the pH is still good, if the temperature is good and the enzy enzyme can still do its job. So they can relate that directly to their own body yes, exactly. and, and what that looks like. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. It's very very, very cool, very cool. So tell me how long you've been teaching here. I've been teaching, this is my ninth year at Vista. Okay. Yes, and but 28th year overall, so. Okay, <laughs> and how's Vista measure up to Love where Vista. else you've been. Love Vista. Yeah. I taught at middle school for 19 years and the high school level is fantastic. I love it. I mean, the community and the kids and everything here is fantastic. That's great. Yeah. That's great. I will I... end my career here. <laughs> oh, I'm really glad. I'm so glad to hear that, especially at a time when we're really struggling to get new educators in the door here at Douglas County. So it's really great to be able to have people like you to pave the way here. So Rob, Mountain Vista is an amazing high school, consistently ranked as one of the best in our state. Talk to us a little bit about all the amazing things that you have to be proud of here at Mountain Vista. Yeah, we're so proud of our kids and we're proud of our staff members that uh, create and facilitate these amazing opportunities for them. And whether it's in the classroom, on the athletic field, in our activities, um, our kids do amazing things every day, every year, and we're so proud of them. That is just great. Talk to me a little bit about your career in technical education offerings here at Mountain Vista. We are one of the leaders in the district uh, for our CTE programs. Again, it's just a matter of putting passionate teachers with, with kids who have a desire to pursue that passion. Uh, we've been able to create and sustain uh, many, many CTE opportunities. We are proud to be the leading supplier of students to head off to Legacy this year in its first year. And I love that our counseling staff has uh, gotten that word out and, and pushed our kids to get involved in these fantastic programs, uh, the ones inside and outside of our walls. Yeah, I know we're really proud district-wide of what we're able to offer to our kids in terms of pathways and that they can access them from any one of our nine comprehensive high schools, including right here at Mountain Vista. So it's really exciting stuff. Well, thank you so much again, Rob, for being with me today. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for joining us. I'm really appreciate happy it. to be here at Mountain Vista.